League of Whitfield County is always packed on Saturdays. Those who attend all agree there is one man who changes the dynamic of the game. And you'll likely hear him before you see him. Lauren St. Germain has this week's Pay It Forward. He says batter up and pumps everyone up. Brent James has announced the games at the Miracle League of Whitfield County Field since the beginning in 2012. And now no one can imagine a game without him. Okay, guys, here we go. He is the commentator up here at Miracle League. Dana says that's what Brent James does every Saturday. He puts a special element in the game. This is Dana and her son Jack's third season with the Miracle League. Each child, he does like their own little song and he pumps each child up as they come up to bat. You can't thank them enough. There's not enough in this world that you can, I guess, actually give to him. It just it puts a smile on our face as parents and and the, you know, just to see the, the way he is with those kids. Are you ready to go pay it forward to Brent $500? Yes. All right, let's go. Okay. So we head on over to the field. We can already hear him. Ah, oh, up next, guys. Every Saturday, he's here from 9 till 2. The last game's at 1 o'clock. Hey, hey, guys, let's pause the game for a second. Hey, Brent, on uh, behalf of News Channel 9 and the McMahon Law Firm, wow. I'd like to pay it forward to you $500. Wow. One. Two, three, four, and five. Thank you for all you do at the Miracle League. <laughs> These kids are a huge part of my life, and it's just wonderful. Brent started volunteering his time every weekend the season the league began back in 2012. You know, when I get to see these kids do something that God gave, gave them the chance to do here that doctors said they never could do. Oh, make some noise for Hannah, guys. Come on. For Brent, it's being able to watch the little miracles. All right, guys, here he is. Come on home. At the miracle field. They throw in a wheelchair, they still get to run on bases and hit a home run. And that's something they weren't supposed to be able to do. Like a blind player. Yes! Hitting the ball. Let's try this. And running around the bases. Brent's love for the players. And this field is out of the park. Pay it forward, Lauren St. Germain. News Channel 9. What a great place and a mm. great man. More than 100 mm. players take part in the Miracle League games every Saturday. An update now on a Ringgold resident many of you know from the 2011 Extreme Makeover Home Edition TV show. Patrick Sherrock is in the ICU at Children's Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. His mom tells us Patrick is fighting for his life. Patrick is on a breathing machine. He has brittle bone disease and both of his legs broke while he was asleep recently. Depend on us to keep you updated on Patrick's condition. Viewers first fell in love with Patrick as an entire community came together to build a safe home for the family on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. He made an impression on everyone he met. Kid, you know, faces challenges every day, but he, he goes out of his way to go into other people with disabilities and, and goes into the rooms and, and literally, like, if they don't have a smile on their face, he, he makes sure that they do. Um, and I think he's just one of those kids that has a power that um, really inspires people to, to um, I don't know, to it just lifts their spirit. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. Today, family and friends gathered to say goodbye, but also to share their memories of a teenager who passed away last week. Pastor Brent James first met Patrick at the opening of the Whitfield Miracle League. The very first day we played, he was the only player there that was able to hit out of a wheelchair from a pitcher throwing. We didn't know what to expect that very first day, but we certainly didn't expect to see a batter from a wheelchair do that. But Patrick brought that and many more blessings to the Miracle League of Whitfield County. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in the ministry today because of how much I love Patrick. And Patrick lived his life for others. He truly did. I preach so many times about others and people don't get it. And Patrick got it. Patrick lived for others and to do for others. The Miracle League announced that they will be dedicating their fifth anniversary season to Patrick. Josh? Alex, thank you. Patrick's burial is tomorrow in Rossville. Friends and family gathered today to remember Patrick Sherrock's life and legacy. The 15-year-old died at his home on Friday. We have followed Patrick for several years as he bravely battled brittle bone disease. A brave young man who touched the lives of many. His favorite characters lined the stage while some shared stories of Patrick. Five years and five days ago from this day, the Lord certainly blessed my life. And I'll never be able to thank him enough for it. 
because that day he introduced me to Patrick Chirac. As balloons were released, many were reminded that Patrick is in a better place. And I think God's probably stole a line from Extreme, extreme Home Makeover. And he said, welcome home, Patrick Chirac. Welcome home. Though his presence is no longer felt, he will live on in the hearts and minds of those he loved. Patrick will be late to rest tomorrow. The burial starts at noon at Lakewood Mem Memory Garden South in Rossville. Live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.